Find your 18 pin connector from your kit and dry fit the 18 pin connector into the 18 holes that are existing on your 3D printer controller board. If everything fits, solder in place. Now proceed to the Velman website for updating your firmware. This firmware update is for your controller board on your 3D printer. At this time, only install the Arduino software. Do not install the firmware at this time. Now proceed back to the Velman's website and follow the on-screen instructions on how to obtain the version 2 software. The link on the web page is incorrect and will give you only version 1. Version 1 is not compatible with your standalone controller. Now go back to the Velman website and follow the rest of the instructions for the install. Instead of using a screwdriver to short out the two pins as requested, use a helping hand clip Your firmware is now updated. Now remove your alligator clips or anything that you use during your install. And now you're ready to install your controller. It's always a good idea to go and restart your 3D printer. Now install your standalone controller to your 3D printer, making sure that the red wire is on the bottom. Now power up your 3D printer and your display should now look like this. I just want to thank you for watching my video and please leave any comments, questions, and I'll try to help you out as best I can. Thank you very much.